Hi friends, this is Dr. Adash. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. The learning objectives under this topic are going to be anatomical terms and anatomical planes. So let's start off with the introduction. Anatomy. What does anatomy mean? Anatomy literally means to take apart by cutting. It is taken from Greek literature. The study of the structure and the interrelationship between the various systems of the human body is known as anatomy. The most important type of anatomical terms are directional terms. To detect and locate various parts of the body in relation to each other, these directional terms can be used. Directional terms are usually found in pairs and they have opposite meanings to each other. For example, superior means above and inferior means below. It is important to note that directional terms are relative to each other. That means they only make sense when you mention one part of the body in relation to another. For example, the ankle joint is inferior to the knee joint, means it is below the knee joint. But at the same time, both the ankle joint and the knee joint are both inferior to the hip joint. The first pair of directional terms we'll be talking about are superior or cephalic, which means above. For example, the head lies superior to the neck. The opposite of superior is inferior or caudal, which means below. For example, the legs lie inferior to the abdomen. The next pair of directional terms are anterior or in the front and posterior or in the back. Anterior or ventral, as I said, means in front of. For example, the eyes lie in the anterior part of the skull. Posterior or dorsal means behind. For example, the tongue lies posterior to the lips. To understand the next directional terms, we need to divide the body with an imaginary line known as the midline passing through the center, dividing the body into two equal halves. The first directional term is medial. Medial means closer towards the midline. For example, the eyes are medial to the ears. The second directional term is lateral. Lateral means further away from the midline. For example, the ears lie lateral to the nose. The next directional term is intermediate. Intermediate means when an organ lies in between two other organs. For example, the neck lies intermediate to the head and to the shoulders. The next two directional terms also require the midline. The first is ipsilateral. Ipsilateral means when two organs or two body parts lie on the same side of the midline. For example, the right hand and the right leg are ipsilateral. Contralateral means when the two body parts lie on opposite sides of the midline. For example, the right hand is contralateral to the left hand. The next two directional terms depend on how far that particular body part is from the origin. The first is proximal. Proximal means that part of the body is closer to its origin. For example, the shoulder is proximal to the elbow. The next directional term is distal. Distal is when the body part lies further away from the origin. For example, the hand lies distal to the elbow. The next two directional terms are superficial or external and deep or internal. Superficial means when that part of the body lies outside another part of the body. For example, the skin lies superficial to the muscles and the bones. Deep means when a part of the body lies inside or further away from the surface compared to another organ. For example, the heart and the lungs lie deep inside the thoracic cavity. Now that we're done talking about directional terms, we're going to talk about anatomical planes. Various parts of the body are studied relative to planes. Planes are imaginary flat surfaces which pass through different parts of the body. The various planes used are as follows. The first one is the sagittal plane. This is a vertical plane which passes from anterior to posterior or from front to back. The mid sagittal or the median plane is that sagittal plane which passes exactly through the center of the body, dividing it into the left and right equal halves. A parasagittal plane is a type of sagittal plane which does not cross through the midline and divides the body into unequal right and left parts. The next plane is the coronal or the frontal plane. This is another vertical plane which passes from left to right or from right to left and divides the body into anterior and posterior portions. The third plane is the transverse or the cross-sectional plane, which is a horizontal plane dividing the body into superior and inferior parts. An oblique plane is any plane which passes at an angle which is other than 90 degrees to the other planes. 